Good morning, my name is Jacob Folger. I'm an artist sculptor and today we're going to do an abstract painting using a canvas that has been painted over that I didn't I didn't like the painting so much so I painted over in white and let it dry and we're also going to be using a palette knife. Now I like this one here so I'll be using that but I wanted to show you you can get a package of five for about six dollars on eBay so check that out. We'll put these aside. And this is the one I like, so I'm going to use that. And we're also going to be using some color uh, paints here. We're using acrylic paint. This is Utrecht Studio Series Acrylic in bright white. Primary blue. And anthraquinona blue in golden artist colors. Okay, um, I'm also going to be using Liquitex Basics, and this is an inexpensive paint, so really in blue hue, which is a nice color. So that's what we're using today. These uh, come in 8 ounce, eight ounce. this is what I've been using normally now, they come in an 8 ounce tube for about six dollars at dickblick.com now if you look in the video description down below the video you can find the tool and supply list that tell you all these different uh, th paints that we're going to be using and palette knife and all that the canvas is on a board like this and um, they're inexpensive they cost about twenty dollars for a package of twelve this is 11 by 14. So we'll get started here. Uh, I think I'm going to use this uh, anthraquinona blue. And we'll put a little bit on the canvas. Let me make sure you can see that. And then uh, I think I'll put bright white. And then uh, maybe the basics, uh, cerulean blue hue. I need to, uh, it's almost empty, so I'm going to have to squeeze it out. Like that. And then primary blue. And just put that right on the canvas like that. Now I'll take my palette knife, whoops, get my finger in it, um, just uh, drag the knife, drag the paint up the, up the canvas, and I just go back and I rock it because there's texture on the canvas from uh, the earlier painting kind of work it into the texture may have to put some more paint on that should work a little bit better And you can just practice with your palette knife on paper if you want. In fact, it's a good idea to warm up first. I warmed up earlier by just doing a little painting or two. Um, I did uh, two paintings on paper and got warmed up. Now I'll grab some of the white. And I've got the blue, the, uh, the uh, this other blue kind of mixed in with it, which I like. I like how that looks. And we'll pick up this blue here. I'm just working it into the... Uh, I'm going to put on a little bit more 
actually it's this one. What I'm doing is I'm dragging the paint with the palette knife and then I lay it down against the canvas like this. And I'll pick up this blue here. the primary blue. I'm going to get a little bit more primary blue on there. Just turn this. You can put it right on the palette knife if you want. Just got to watch out. You don't want to get paint inside the uh, tube. up the paint on the edges and uh, bring it back in. Now I'm just sort of working it, kind of blending the colors a little bit with the palette knife. It makes a really pretty painting. Just kind of blending it a little bit. I like the mild uh, colors going across and, and also the texture that I'm creating by going over it with a palette knife. I'm going to try to get this mixed a little bit better, a little bit more blended, so it's consistent with the rest of the painting. It's going back and forth now. And, uh, nearing completion. It's got, it's got a little bit of white showing there so I'm gonna pick up the painting here and take the uh, palette knife and turn it and just scrape off the excess that's on the top of the knife and use that to blend out that white that's that's showing try to position the camera so you can see it a little bit better. And that's getting close to where I want it. And then when you're done, you're happy with it, you can clean your palette knife off with the paper towel. Get it, wipe it off and get it good and clean. The main thing that you want to get clean is the blade 
of the palette knife. It's the main thing. And uh, make sure all your paints are covered. Never uh, hold the, the paint over the painting when you're turning on the cap or taking it off because it can drop crumbs on the painting. And then you can let your painting dry. Uh, it takes uh, about 24 hours for it to dry completely. And uh, so uh, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. I do many videos along these lines. Uh, we, uh, I do um, sculpture in clay and wire and also now painting. I am a beginner and uh, I'm dubbing the videos let's learn together when I learn how to do something I'll share it with you guys and uh, it's mostly going to be abstract painting that we'll be doing and there's three videos so far so definitely take a look at those uh, please subscribe to the channel like the video give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment and share the video with your friends thanks so much for watching and have a great day